Spirit of Travel here with a quick patio chat. Um, with it being Black History Month this year, I want to celebrate by shining a spotlight on some Black-owned spirits and wineries. And first up in my series is um, the McBride Sisters. I was able to get my hands on a couple of bottles of their um, Black Girl Magic line. Black Girl Magic Rosé and their Black Girl Magic Red Blend. <laughs> get into some tasting notes this says uh vibrant vibrant flavors of strawberries raspberries meyer lemon with aromatic notes of fragrant white florals okay here's the rosé i'm gonna give it a smell it has a nice kind of light refreshing um scent to it or kind of pick up on the essence of strawberries um, it smells pretty good all right here we go mcbride sisters black girl magic rosé say I like this. This is a very nice rosé. It's very nice. It's very light. It's not overly sweet. It's not um, very dry either. It has it's a nice good. light soft mouthfeel. However, there is a little, I'm gonna say minerality on the back, but it may be the essence of the um, Meyer lemon coming through. The little crispness that, cut, crispness that cuts it, which is, um, I think it's a very nice finish on this. So anyone looking for something light to drink that's not super sweet, that's not very bitter, I can say I recommend this Black Girl Rosé. And um, so on a scale of one to five, I'm gonna give this very easily a four, four and a half. This I'm very tough to please when it comes to rosés, and I, I think it's more because when you get a bottle of rosé, you never know what you're gonna get. It's like I've had some rosés that have been super syrupy sweet. I've had some rosés that have been extremely bitter and like metallic and. Meh. Um, but so I never know what I'm gonna get when I get a rosé but I did want to give this a, a try because when, when I'm not fully ready to let go of the summer and that's in my fall or when I'm kind of ready to bring a little bit of summer in when it's still cool in the spring I'm starting to gravitate toward rosés and I am happy that I found another rosé that I can add to my um, personal collection that gives my stamp of approval so Black Girl Magic Rosé you did that now it's time to try out this red plant Uh, let me see. Blend is smooth, voluptuous, and a full body with flavors of cherry, plum, cedar, and vanilla. Sounds pretty good. Let's see. Let's in the back. This is good. Wow. Mm, kind of flummoxed a little bit. Give me a time to get my. I need to get myself together. Yep. I'm getting a light woody note. This tastes absolutely delicious. It's nice, it's light. It's a good red blend for someone who's just now starting to get into reds. It's nice, nice and light with a light to medium mouthfeel. This is good. I don't know what else to say about this. I'm just on a scale of one to five. This is a five, if not a six. Nice, it's flavorful, it's not overwhelming. It's I don't know if this is a terminal, but it's like very simple and com yet complex. It's a simple, it has a simple complexity to it, and I really like this. So I gotta say, hands down, I am loving the, the McBride Sisters Black Girl Magic Wine Collection. Um, if you're out and about and you see some of this, please give it a try. Let me know what you pick up. Let me know what you think about it. If you try the rosé or the red blend. But um, I've been babbling along long enough. I'm going to wrap up this patio chat. Thanks for joining me for my first um, Black History feature spot featuring the McBride Sisters Black Girl Magic Collection. Thank you. Uh, let me pick up my red here. And I don't know what you about to do. But I'm going to continue to get spirited out here on my patio for a little while longer. Enjoy some of this nice, semi-warm, brisk, cold weather. <laughs> Cheers.